today we're going to show you on this Fiesta how to change the alternator and the battery and both auxiliary drive belts. This is the 1600cc Duratec engine. Before working on the alternator, make the electrical system on the car safe by removing the negative connection from the battery. Use a 10mm spanner or socket and here and then lift, lift the connection off. If, like us, you're changing the battery, undo this bolt with a 10mm spanner, lift the connection off the positive, undo these two nuts that hold the uh, battery strap into place, lift the battery strap away, lift the battery out. The auxiliary drive belt cover, there's one flathead screw and one 10mm socket. Now you can access the two belts at the crankshaft pulley. To be able to get the old alternator out and the new one in, you need to remove the headlight. We'll show you how to uh, fix the headlight in place when we come to put it back later. And also lift out the power steering pump reservoir from its fixing points. There's no screws hold that in place. And release the power steering feed pipe from this clip on the chassis leg just here. That will enable you to uh, move the pump further out of the way. Now cut off the drive belt that drives the power steering pump at the rear of the engine. Either use a, a good pair of wire cutters like we did or a sharp knife. And do the same with the alternator and compressor drive belt. On the top bracket of the alternator, undo the nut and remove it with a 15 millimeter socket or spanner and also with a 15 undo this bolt although you can get this bolt all the way out leave it about uh, three or four turns in so that it can support the weight of the alternator once we undo the lower bolt expose the main power cable connection by lifting off the little rubber boot remove the nut with a 10 millimeter socket or spanner and then lift the electrical connection away from the post. When you're trying to get access to the various bits around here, be very, very careful about this water pipe that comes from the uh, coolant bottle. And don't do like we did and snap it. Now we need to remove the lower bolt on the alternator, which is quite awkward to get at. And we found it easier with a 15 millimeter ring spanner. Uh, this one is a ratchet spanner, but an ordinary ring should do the trick. Once the bolt is loose, you should be able to get in with your left hand, as you can see here, and undo it by fingers. Remove the bolt all the way. Making sure to support the weight of the alternator from below. Remove the uh, long bolt. And withdraw the alternator forwards off that stud. Now that you can move the alternator, you'll be able to get at the connector. Squeeze the release tab and pull out. Now you can remove the alternator by manoeuvring it out of the uh, headlamp aperture. And put the new one back into place uh, through the aperture. And don't forget of course to tighten up the bolts and the nut that hold the alternator in place. Remove the spark plugs to make it easier to turn the engine over by hand. When you thread the new alternator belt round, make sure that all the ribs on the belt line up with the poly V's on the pulleys and don't forget to feed the rear side of the belt under the water pump pulley. The new belt kit comes with a tool for putting the belt on along with instructions on how to use it. However, we found almost impossible to use the supplied tool. So the way we ended up doing the uh, belts was to feed it round the pulleys and then do the crankshaft pulley last. Now you can see I'm holding the old belt how we've done it. Where I've got my left index finger make sure you've got the uh, the poly V's into the uh, grooves on the pulley. Put a 18 millimeter socket on the crankshaft nut and turn the crankshaft anti-clockwise so that as it comes round it pulls the belt onto the pulley. And we did that for both belts. The alternator belt we did anti-clockwise 
and the power steering pump we did that clockwise from the top. Slot the power steering reservoir back into place not forgetting to clip the uh, lower pipe back into the clip on the chassis rail. Spark plugs back in connect positive first. To put the headlight back first plug in the multi plug in the back of the headlight the keyhole slot on the side of the headlight needs to slot over the white clip down in the uh, inner wing there. Behind the bumper, these two above and that above, and this below, and then you want to just slide it down, wiggle that until it goes past it, and then it'll just slide on. And replace the three screws. So I hope you found that useful. Give the video a like if you liked it and found it useful. Comments down below, you know what to do. And I'll see you next time.